Invictus Aqua is better. I'm more well known and get a whole bunch of compliments. Cambridge Knight is better. I came out first and get just as many compliments or award. Oh, really, fool? Really, really, fool? Really? <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Chris. This is our channel, Mr. Siage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. For all the returning subscribed Siage soldiers, as always, welcome back. And as you all know, you guys can hit me back up with a salute by hitting the thumbs up icon down below. It really shows you support and you know that I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you're a new viewer by chance, maybe stick around, see what the channel has to offer. And if you decide that you don't like what you see, make sure that you hit the dislike button. But if you're gonna hit the dislike button, just for my sake, can you hit it to the tune of the Rocky theme song, which goes, da, 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 da. That really lets me know that you guys really didn't like it. Today, we are gonna be covering a fragrance that doesn't get that much notoriety, and as you can tell from my opening, it gets compared to a very, very popular fragrance. And that fragrance is English Laundry Cambridge Night. And guys, make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be doing a giveaway of a gift set of Cambridge Night. Now, as you guys seen in a couple recent videos, this is a house that I really, really like. Um, for the prices that they can be had for, these fragrances are top notch in my book. And the thing is, when people smell specifically Cambridge Night, they actually say that this is a clone of Invictus Aqua. Here's the thing, Cambridge Night came out a whole year before Invictus Aqua did. So who cloned who first? Nonetheless, with Cambridge Night, you're gonna get a lot of the same notes that you get with Invictus Aqua. Cambridge Night has the citrus opening with sort of a marine kind of vibe, but what Cambridge Night tends to do a little bit differently is it has this little bit more depth to it with a little bit of sweetness. And it's actually rather funny because I recently just smelled the new Invictus Aqua 2018 release. And this actually reminds me a lot of that fragrance as well. It's, it smells more like Invictus Aqua 2018 as opposed to Invictus Aqua 2016. Performance on Cambridge Night is actually rather impressive as well. Just like Invictus Aqua, which tends to last and gets good projection, Cambridge Night actually lasts about eight hours on skin alone and lasts about 12 hours on clothes when you spray clothes. The difference also with this comes with, I personally, now I know that this is sacrilege to say, I personally love wearing Cambridge Night more than I love wearing Invictus Aqua. And here's why. Invictus Aqua, although I do love the scent, has this sort of overtly loud, overtly over the top kind of fragrance. And it just, it screams to get attention. Now, this one is just as well at grabbing attention, but it's not as loud. It's like that cool guy at the bar, sort of quiet, but very confident within himself. And it's just, that's the kind of fragrance that I personally love to wear. You get great sillage and great performance out of this as well. And you do happen to get noticed when you wear this scent. And it's crazy because I have Invictus Aqua on this end. And I have Cambridge Night on this hand. There's a little bit more sweetness and a little bit less of the saltiness than Invictus Aqua, but it's still there. This is a great smelling fragrance. I think retail price, it can be had for $87. But if you look at some of the discounter stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, I actually found that gift box set at Century 21. Um, I know I mentioned them in a video prior to this, but uh, it's, it's just a place that I happen to find 
great deals on fragrances. I'm not sponsored through them by any way. I just love sharing this information with you guys. You guys can definitely check them out. I'll leave a link down below. They have great deals and this, this single box for this was $19.99. The giveaway that I'll be doing is that box was $29.99. So when it comes down to it, which fragrance do I prefer? Well, I prefer Cambridge Night. It's just more subdued, more confident of a fragrance. It doesn't have to be over the top. This is a confident smelling fragrance. And being a confident kind of guy, this is one that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy wearing myself. And I want to give you guys that chance as well. I picked up this gift set, which has the full 3.4 ounce bottle and the aftershave as well. These are unused and I wanted to give this to one of my subscribers. So rules for the giveaway are as follows. One, you have to be a subscriber to my channel, obviously. And you have to have your subscriptions able to be seen. If Second, Leave a comment down below on a fragrance that you think smells like a very popular fragrance that you get just as much compliments with as well. Third, come back to this video in one week's time. I am going to pin my comment on the top with the name of the winner of this gift set. The winner is going to have three days to contact me with their shipping information so that I can send this out to them. I'm looking forward to really seeing what you guys have in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know it always means a lot to me. And as always, and most importantly, go frag yourselves.